Y estoy pensando en esta experiencia, particularmente la experiencia Damn it, I'm so nervous. So many people in the United States speak Spanish now, and right now as a Jesuit, I have no ability to talk to them, to accompany them, and that's something I'd like to change. In the future, when we are, God willing, ordained priests, we'll be working and preaching and teaching in Spanish, um, as well as English. When I was asking a lot of the Jesuits, uh, where's a good place to study Spanish for the summer, uh, just about everybody I met uh, and talked with said, come down to Shela in Guatemala and study at the PLQ. And you sit down with a teacher and you work one-on-one -on -one with the teacher for five hours a day. The teachers really want you to, to become proficient in their language. So their, their desire is to share their culture and their linguistic heritage with, with us. There's also a group of people who are really interested in spending time with each other. Uh, I remember talking with a, one group of, of people. They were really struck to hear uh, about Ignatian spirituality, about some of our concepts, especially ones such as finding God in all things or, or the discernment of spirits. Uh, one of the girls even asked, uh, you know, how do you, how do you know like, when you're finding God? And I I just couldn't help but notice, like, are we not finding God here? Are we not finding God in this conversation? I've been really lucky that we're, we get to stay at the Jesuit University here in Shela. I've just been absolutely amazed at the hospitality of, uh, of the Jesuits that we're living with here, particularly the superior, Minor, who's so welcoming and so generous and wants us to not only learn uh, Spanish, but also to feel the sense of brotherhood. And they'll be working all day, but we'll come together for, for dinner. We'll get to hear their different accents. The, one of them is from Spain, one is from Panama, one is from Guatemala City. So they have different ways of talking, very different personalities. One of the great things about getting to know Jesuits from other countries is to see the similarities even more than the differences. So we decided to take a weekend and see a few of the sites of Guatemala. We find ourselves at Lake Atitlan in the, El Pueblo of Santa Cruz. Uh, Lake Atitlan is one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been. Uh, there are three volcanoes. One of them is active and two of them are apagado. I don't know, they're closed, not working. <laughs> So we had a couple of great dinners and we got to meet some, some cool people, some fellow students from the PLQ and Shayla were here as well. And some, some good r and R. I spent the past week at a different language school, but one that's affiliated with PLQ and it simply goes by the mountain school. We actually are each assigned a family that we'll go to every meal with. So we get to know a family, we get to be with them. And it's wonderful that um, a lot of the locals here really want to share it with us. They, they want us to know their home. All the students actually live together in the school. And so we're studying together during the day. Uh, a lot of nights we'll play games together and just have a blast. And last night was amazing because I actually had the chance to just sit down and have a, a really great conversation with a group of people. And as I looked around, I realized that we're all very different and that we can sit and have this great conversation and really learn a lot about each other, learn about our hopes, and learn the fact that we're each here learning Spanish because we're wanting to do something with it. There are people here that want to learn Spanish to be better lawyers or to be better doctors and nurses. There are people here that want to be better teachers. So there's this amazing connection that we have that even though we all came here for different reasons, there's this common bond in really wanting to see a better world by being able to connect with more people. Uh, what happened uh, over this time though was 
was really a confirmation of, of learning a language is about connecting with people and connecting with culture. Uh, it's not just words and phrases, but it's about relationships, it's about history, it's about art and literature, and it's about people's stories, and it's about sharing in that common story of humanity. Por supuesto, la sociedad es muy diferente de nuestra sociedad. Nosotros tenemos ideas diferentes, pero hay más que compartimos como seres humanos y como gente que, que quieren aumentar, los, aumentar las oportunidades para, para todos. Sí, es un, una visión del de reino de Dios. ¿no? Uh, Ya. Yeah. Me llamo Tucker y soy jesuita. Me llamo Mateo y soy jesuita. Me llamo Michael y soy jesuita. Spanish learning school that started about, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Table with our profesor. And, oh, that's so bad. <laughs> fake, fake Spanish is the worst. <laughs> Proyecto Linguístico... Uh, crap, I can't say it.